Will you take a look at that? Pretty pathetic, huh? Well, you'll never believe this, but that loser you're looking at thought he could break the Guinness Book World Record for most pull-ups in 24 hours. The current record is 8,008, also known as boob. The defeated, ill-prepared guy you're looking at in this video is an absolute weenie. This is his story. Well, actually my story. That's right. I'm that weenie. The name is Truett. Truett Haynes. I was the world's nicest guy, and I ruined my life for no reason. To best understand why I would do this to myself, let's go back to the beginning of the worst day of my life. Oh, a little too far back. That's actually the second worst day of my life. All right, let's move ahead to April 22nd, 2023. Nice. <laughs> Having a key helps. And we're in. So this is the station. We got the camera set up, um, the timer, the clock, the chair, the weight so that I don't have to jump up to the bar and I'm gonna be hanging up there doing pull-ups for the next 24 hours. I'm gonna be very comfortable with this spot. And unlike the last one, this is gonna be the official Guinness record. <sighs> yeah, we got 27 minutes until we get started. And honestly, what I'm thinking right now is the hard part's over. <laughs> and well, I couldn't be more excited. So what I figured is that when I did the 4100 back in 2020, I was doing 100 a day in preparation for that. So I figured if I just did 200 a day, I could double that number and get like 8,200. I don't know why my math worked that way, but that's what I thought. So I was doing 200 a day for a little over a year, about like 14 months, and I really thought I was doing something with that. At this point, the only thing that I have to do is uh, seven pull-ups a minute for 20 hours, and honestly, that seems like the easiest part. Yeah, this is cool. It's a, like I told you, it's like a full circle moment. You've yeah. been my trainer for like the last 10 years. Yeah. Well, let's uh, let's say a little prayer real quick. Um, oh Lord, today, uh, let's be with Truett. Uh, thank you for all the blessings, everything you give for us, the strength, determination, the willpower, everything flows through you. Uh, allow this moment to be your moment and let God just lift you up and just feel light. I want you just to feel light today. When you feel heavy, pull onto him and allow him to lift you. Thank you for Jesus and Lord for everything you do. Be with him today. I love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Ooh, yeah, baby. Let's do it. Truett Haynes, record title, most pull-ups in 24 hours for male country USA. Let's get it on. America and Australia the last few years. 21 year old Jackson Haliano, I think I'm saying that right. He did 8,008, which does spell boo. Um, he did that on purpose, I talked to him. And he recommended that I don't do it in jeans, so I decided to take his advice. I'm hoping to bring the title back to America. <laughs> No. What am I at? 1,812 reps. Four hours and 20 minutes and 1,925 calories burned. It's a solid day right there. Getting closer. Just got to get food down. This is my second apple. Not too many calories in an apple, but it's something.
been using like two yogurts and two donuts, so we're not even close to 3,000. So we're gonna go get some food that he'll make to eat. Lean back, deep breaths. Lots of time. So right around the 2700 mark is when I really started to understand that I was ill prepared. And I started to cramp and I started to think about how many reps I had to do and how much pain I was in. And that's just not the mindset that you need to be able to do this. Let's go, let's get it. Easy day. Seven hours down. Go through. Focus on six at a time. Shut down. It's gonna be a big difference when you get calories down. Be easy. Be easy. <laughs> I'm gonna cut a leg off. I should. I was right around 2,700 reps and about seven hours in. I was doing seven on the minute. I was like, wow, I have like 5,000 left. I've already done 2,700, but I feel like absolute garbage and I don't see how I can get through this day. And that's when the anxiety kicked in. That's when the panic started to kick in because I knew that I was gonna fail in front of all these people and people flew out to come see me. And uh, the pressure was on and I was really feeling it. I was really feeling down in the dumps. You got any pain anywhere? No, it's just a, it's just the reps. I feel like I'm slowing down. Definitely haven't eaten 3,000 calories no, today. I've eaten maybe 1,000. The fact that you're staying this good with no calories is impressive. I mean, you're not gonna quit, you know, without at least taking a break, seeing what your body does with a little, a little break and just get some, just relax, get some food in, kind of reset. I don't know, maybe just a little break. I, I don't know, I'm hoping that it, I can start doing like six, seven again. Yeah. Recharging right now, and then we're coming back with the fire. So we got a little intermission here. True is trying to get some calories down. Like a lot of guys do, they start off all fired up for the new challenge, whatever it is, a race, marathon, miles, in this case, uh, pull-ups, and, and forget that like on a long effort like this, you have to take in calories. So he burnt over 3,000 calories and it only taken in about 1,000. I didn't get here till a little later, so we know his body can perform. We know he has what it takes to do it, but you can't expect your body to do something that uh, a human has never done before without giving it the fuel it needs. That's what we're doing right now. He's at over 3,200 in eight hours, which is well ahead of world record pace. We just need to make sure that we get the fuel in him and make sure we're setting him up for success. I'll make it happen. It's a, it's a big ask, but getting close, we'll see. I feel good. Yeah. Just like my mind is willing, but my body is like. Mm -hmm. I think we'll probably just beat, beat the 4100. Call it good. That post that I made yesterday doesn't age well. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to do something, you might as well just believe it. Yeah. I don't even know what you said. What'd you say? Tomorrow we make history. Personal history. Can I have everyone's attention, please? <laughs> Obviously, I wouldn't have liked to give this speech because I thought that I would have the record at the end of the day, but I'm not going to get the 8100 that I was uh, shooting for. When you have big goals, you know, you push yourself further than you expected yourself to, and, and that's all that I can ask of my body. Um, and right now I'm just not ready to do 8100 it looks like. I'll consider this a training day, but I appreciate everyone's support and coming out. But you guys don't have to be here for that if you don't want to since there's gonna be no record broken today. So just thank you guys for everything. Um, but yeah, after 4100 there's really no point uh, in me going because I can't do the seven a minute that I expected myself to be able to do. So thank you guys. That was good. All right.
I get it. I know you get it. You make a few tweaks, you come back, you yep. crush what you did last time. And that was a world record, and you, you couldn't beat the previous world record in 12 hours. You know what I mean? 12 hours. It's all those great stories. I always like these people fail and go down in flames. This isn't even really going down in flames, but you did fail your goal. But it's like, that's what makes those stories good when you come back. That's what makes good stories. That's life. Yeah. It's always how you bounce back. friends <laughs> it's been exactly one week since the pull-up attempt and as you can see this is a number that i ended at it's still on the counter just as a reminder for me at one point on the youtube live stream of the record attempt there were 600 people and not to mention in person let me tell you it's a hell of a feeling letting all those people down or having people watch you fail when you put yourself out there there's always that opportunity and luckily I'm taking it as a lesson. I'll tell you what, if I was a little bit more sensitive, I don't think I'd be able to recover from something like that. Cause wow, very stressful. There was a kid named Talon who spent the night in his car so that he could be there right at the 4 a.m. start. Shout out to him. And I'm sorry I let you down, but hey buddy, we're gonna get it next time. And one more thing while I have you, I wouldn't recommend going on a diet, trying something new right before you need to ask the most of your body has ever done in a single day. That wasn't the wisest decision on my part, but again, it's like you don't have a coach for these kinds of things. The idea was that I would lose weight, make it easier to pull up. I think I just depleted myself leading up to the actual event, which isn't ideal when you gotta be going for 24 straight hours doing something, so. I did 2,000 one time in preparation for the record attempt back in April. And then this time around, I've been doing 2,000 three times a week. The time that it takes to get 2,000 done now is hours ahead of where I used to be. So my body is just a lot more welcoming to the volume that uh, I've been putting myself through. Six months, I've done over 60,000 reps. I'm the most conditioned I've ever been to uh, try to get this record again, so. Is that today? Come on up. Donkey mask is for two reasons. Um, for one, we're having waffles this morning. And for two, Shrek's my favorite movie. My wife's too, actually. And this is a little bit different than last time. Last time I ate seven eggs and two pieces of turkey bacon, which is about the worst thing you could possibly have. And you're doing 24 hours pull-ups. This time I'm getting the carbs in, getting some protein in, and then all day long, straight carbs. Straight. <laughs> A girl. Straight carbs and uh, yeah, so breakfast and then we're off. October 14th, 2023. I am Truett C. Haynes. <laughs> Most pull-ups in 24 hours, male. Application number 2302230093932 MPUI. All right, so this is a text that I got from our buddy Kyle Hurst. As we approach the day of reckoning, pay no mind to those hollow shells of men who seek not their own glory, but rather cast stones at those who do. Let your mangled hands and leather calluses be the only proof of your steadfast courage and relentless discipline. For you are the man in the arena, and those feeble-minded naysayers matter not. They will vanish like sand in the wind, 
but your accomplishment will withstand the test of time. There is no finer man for this task, and I'm proud to call you my brother. Now go forth and claim your destiny, my boy. Kyle Hurst. <laughs>
hours in, I think. Um, just a little sick. Got uh, like 2,400 left. Got to dig deep.
get those reps. When they said, go get them perfect. Go. Get them. a different man. <laughs> one mission, get the most pull-ups in the history of the world in one day. That's what we just did. We did it. Go Terminator. Might as well get that 8100. What? Let's go. Ten thousand believed in me. Mount Ops obviously believes in me. All these people believed in me. Alicia, is there anything you want to say? Just that I love you, and I knew you could do it. I knew it when you didn't know. Yeah, I definitely didn't know it. I was in the absolute darkest moment you could imagine, and I wanted to quit so bad. And I was looking for the out. I didn't get it. Hands obviously absolutely shredded, and. Uh, we persevered. Yeah, I couldn't have done it without people that I love. Yeah, I think you guys for coming out and supporting me. You want to show them? I honestly, I think it took every person in here and every person who stopped by. We had the counters, taking multiple rotations, no sleep. Yeah, and my brother was here literally every second of the time. Love you, buddy. It took an entire community to be able to do this. It's not just me. So I can't take all the credit, but yeah, just extremely grateful. All right, I'm gonna go to sleep.